Interest rates down, speculative demand for money up. Income up, transaction demand for money up. This is a principles of macroeconomics class. It's gonna be required of all management, accounting, economics, finance, marketing majors. If the tax rate's 100%, no one's gonna work. There's gonna be no revenue. What we're doing in here in this particular class, we're trying to explain inflation and unemployment. Uh, it's a kind of a technical model, uh, and uh, we'll see how they hang with it. The worker's wage has gone up, what, about an inch and a half, right? So they think they're getting paid more, right? What's happened to their cost of living? It's gone up about three inches. So what's happened to their real income? It's gone down. Oh. The emphasis is on them understanding the real world. We start every class with, are there questions? And if a student has any question whatsoever, we go on that and talk about it and try and fit it within the context of the theories of this class. My, my question was, how is that, I mean, the stocks went down on Monday. And I'm really curious, is that really going to snowball and actually start doing something? Because the main point was that the government's going to take too long to actually do something yeah. about our deficit. Yeah. Remember earlier this semester, they downgraded Japan? What happened yesterday is Standard & Poor's, one of the rating agencies, said they're thinking about downgrading the United States. The problem is the $14 trillion the government owes. Learning theory tells us students learn things better if they can relate it to the real world. So in macroeconomics, I've got to tie it into current events. Greece again is in the news today. Apparently overnight, it someone leaked that they're discussing a restructuring of debt. Restructuring of debt, if Greece owes you money, and they restructure your debt, it means you're going to lose money. It's certainly easier to teach economics now than it was, say, 10 years ago. If you can't make it interesting and from basically 2007 until now, you might as well retire. So this is why people are seeing China as an increasingly wealthy country. You know, and with wealth comes foreign policy power. So is this answering your question? Yeah. 